mom, hi dad. <laughs> so these are my parents, and I have two older brothers. Um, one is 26 and one is 29 years old. They are now still working, so I'll just have dinner with my parents. I'll have dinner a few times a week uh, when my mom cooks. Otherwise, we may just meet outside to have dinner before uh, coming back home. Uh, I do like enjoy my mom's cooking a lot, and like uh, <laughs> when I come home, like it's always nice to have like dinner really prepared. Like overseas, like usually after training, you still have to go out and find food and stuff. So it's nice to come in to cook food. Today, I have um, purposely cooked um, the few dishes that she likes. She likes salmon. Even when if she eats outside, she will order salmon. So salmon and then uh, she likes Korean food. And she always have kimchi. Even if it's, I'm not cooking a Korean dish, she will always go to the fridge and take kimchi. Yeah. So this is Japanese, which is a light broth. And she likes this egg. I think it's like um, nice to come back to talk to my parents and like for them to encourage me sometimes and also with my father, sometimes I would just like talk about, talk about badminton and I like, just someone to share share things with. So apart from my friends, like, I do talk to my parents a lot as well. So yeah. I'm happy that um, she likes to play badminton. As long as she likes the, this as their career, I will give her the full support. Her training uh, is very tough, so we're trying to make it easy for her so we try to fetch her as much as possible to the training as well as coming back from training so that she don't feel so tired things that we can help her uh, in that way but she is the one who um, told us that she wants to um, uh, play this game uh, professionally and uh, to play this sport as a career so for us as parents uh, we yeah we just uh, support her as for as long as she wants to play. Yeah. For us, it's very important that she continues to enjoy the game, uh, which she has loved since uh, when she picked up the game at eight eight years old. What we do is we will always uh, encourage her to just you know remember to enjoy the game, be happy. So as long as she's uh, enjoying herself, whether win or lose. Um, I wouldn't say it's not important, um, but more important that what we, it pleases us when we see her enjoying the game. We just want her to be happy basically because it's a tough journey as an athlete uh, with so much challenges. So for us as parents, we just want her to be happy uh, doing the sport that she loves, that's all. Recently I just bought a, a new stringing machine and I'm still learning how to do it. So. Um, this is one way to help her also, in that sense it will be more consistent uh, and suits her, uh, her play in that sense. Since she started uh, competing uh, in um, comp competitions and all that, um, Dad and I, we have uh, kept the you know, newspaper cuttings and, and uh, of course uh, took photos on, of uh, the badminton journey and all that. Yeah, come, I'll show you some of that. Yeah, so um, we have all this newspaper cuttings uh, of her. This one is uh, when she was 11 years old. This one. And this one is uh, when she was 12 years old and she was the youngest member of the SBA, that's the Singapore Badminton Association. Um, that year they started the National Intermediate Squad, which is for the youth uh, just before the national team one. So she was the youngest player there for this one. And of course, um, okay, this is uh, when she won the first uh, title, that's the Vietnam Open. We were very happy when she won this uh, because uh, the year before, um, this, uh, which was the SEA Games in Singapore, um, she was supposed to play in that competition, but she injured herself and um, she had to lay off for a couple of months. So when she came back and won this one, we were very, very happy about it. Yeah. And okay, then the next one was uh, this one. This is the second title, which is also the Vietnam Open. And then of course, this one is the um, 
Asia Youth Under 17, uh, where she won two titles. She won the singles and then she also the doubles event as well. Okay, and um, this one um, was in last year, Hyderabad Open, where she won uh, the third, so this is the third one. And of course, so this, uh, this one was a world championship, her first world championship, and um, uh, not just uh, winning uh, uh, the match, but also to be able to reach quarterfinals. So, of course, the whole family very, very proud of her.